Sweet Alabama moonshine, boys and girls. You like fucking your cousins? You like wearing camo? Then do I have the guitar for you. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Washburn Dime V guitar, finished in camouflage. And this guitar being camo, or camouflage for you French viewers, means it helps you blend into your surroundings. So for those of you viewing this on an Apple device, this guitar is invisible. It's a V guitar. And in most cases, V guitars make me think of some douchebag jumping around in his underwear remembering how good the 80s were. But, I don't know. I wasn't live in the 80s. So the first thing I'd like to mention is the shape. It's a V. It's nice. It matches the offset V head stock, and um, it's got camo on it, and of course a dime. Um, it's got the string through body, which I think is the best for any kind of metal play or any kind of play at all. I don't like the roller bridges. I don't like the the string through the bottom of the bridge and go up because if you want that, you know, chunky ch 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 chugga chugga choo choo dun 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 sound, you're not going to get that with your, you know crappy roller bridges. You're gonna get it with string through. Even Floyd Rose, eh, I wouldn't say Floyd Rose is a good metal guitar. And you know, setup. I just, I, I like, I'm very, very partial to the string through bodies. But it's got your garden variety Washburn double humbucker pickups. Great for the gainy kind of, you know, metal chugga chugga choo choo sound. Choo choo, motherfucker! It's got regular, pearl dotted inlays on some rosewood and the best part about it is on the 12th fret you can see right here it's got two little skulls they're my eyes they're my eyes snake eyes bitch they're very awesome i like it i wish all of them were skulls but you don't get that lucky and um what do we got some grover tuners up here on top dime v I like the little like they tried making the triangle but they're like i'm too drunk and stoned to cut this right and to avoid Dean copyright laws, we have this side is bigger than this side. It doesn't matter, it's cool anyway. And of course, I like the slick black finish on here. It's painted like the rest of the body. It is a bolt-on neck. You can take it off and, you know, throw it at your girlfriend if you wanted to. But it looks just sweet, like, yo, what's up? One of them things, I'm gonna poke ya. It's a trident. Urgh! I'm Aquaman and I'm pissed. It's got your standard two volume and a tone knobs. And I customize these with Coors Light beer caps. Cause what all American red blooded son of a bitch don't like fucking his cousins drinking beer, am I right? Goddamn America! Yeah! Yeah! So, let's play it. It's really hard to play this guitar without a strap because you're all like, hey, I gotta anchor my foot so it stays in place and then I gotta make sure my dick is hard so I can hold it upright and then it did it did it did it did <coughs> you know how it goes so first of all we're playing on the bridge pickup because I think neck pickups are a waste of time but I will play on the neck pickup for all you faggots out there that cry about I wanna hear what the neck pickup sounds like cause I might buy one of these guitars so here's a little something from the bridge pickup and bear in mind I am playing on a line 6 amp so, you want really heavy gain, go for a line six. Don't buy pedals on a Marshall. Sorry. See, it's got that really nice palm mute sound when you palm mute it, plus the It just goes. It just goes. I like the go. I like the flow. You know? And um, let's try the neck pickup. Let's try some other shit because I don't like these night pickups. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I. It sounds a lot better on the bridge pickup than on the neck pickup. That's just you know how I feel. Cause, but yeah, um, I like these because they hum really well. The sound travels. It reverberates really well. It's a really chunky, metally aggressive tone compared to something like the Dixie Rebel, who has the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker in it. The Dimebucker gives you a very signature, clean, aggressive tone where it's you pick out every single note and every single harmonic and every single melody that you're gonna do. It's gonna sound amazing. Compared to this, where it's all gonna and you get to the it's gonna hum, it's gonna ring, it's gonna be more staticky on here than it is on that. So the Washburn pickups are really good for aggressive, metal, chunky, Pantera, Slipknot, anything that's got a or a really heavy like a you know, anything like that. If you're questioning whether you should get one, I would get one. Uh, you're not gonna have an easy time finding one of these guitars because I didn't have an easy time finding this guitar. I actually got it at a pawn shop. Pawn shop, baby. But I'm sure you can find them on Reverb, eBay. Um, I'm more partial to the like ML looking guitars, the ones you know that have the other arm that comes out because it's a lot easier to sit with because I don't like sitting and playing B guitars and most of the time I play guitar, I'm sitting down. Um, you have to have a strap to hold this guitar on you, you know? So, if you like strapping on and sitting down or strapping on and walking around or whatever you wanna do with your strap on, um, yeah, the V guitar and the Washburn Dime V are good for you. So, yeah. If you like this video and you're still watching, feel free to subscribe. I do do guitar videos, um, reviews, all kinds of stuff, guitar texts, maybe even some how-tos, I don't know. But uh, tell me how you feel, like, subscribe, comment, and, uh, and see you next time.